The recent decision by the IEC to seek an appeal of the Constitutional Court regarding the Electoral Court's ruling permitting former President Jacob Zuba candidacy in the upcoming general elections has stirred controversy and raised concerns about the integrity of the electoral process. Terry, the executive chairman of the IEMSA and former vice chairperson of the IEC, voiced his surprise and dismay at the IEC's actions, described them as panic and ill-advised. In an interview with Newsroom Africa, Terry questioned the urgency of the IEC's appeal, particularly since the next elections are still distant. He emphasized that the IEC may be overstepping in its constitutional mandate and by pursuing objections to Zuma's candidacy. Terry expressed his concerns directly to the IEC, cautioning against actions that could jeopardize the Commission's credibility. He urged that the IEC is to wait the full judgment from the Electoral Court before making any further decisions. Terry's remarks underscores the importance of upholding the integrity of electoral institutions and the need for transparent and fair electoral processes. The IEC's decision to appeal the Constitutional Court follows the Electoral Court's ruling allowing Zuma to stand for elections despite his previous conviction for contempt of court. The IEC had initially disqualified Zuma from candidacy based on this conviction, but the Electoral Court's decision overturned this decision permitting Zuma to run for the office under the MK Party banner. Kate Bapela, spokesperson for the IEC, confirmed the Commission's approach to the Constitutional Court, citing the need for clarity on the matter of candidate eligibility. However, the IEC's decision has drawn criticism from the MK Party, which caused the Commission of politicizing the issue and attempting to exclude Zuma from the ballot unfairly. Ndela, the national spokesperson for the MK Party, expressed disappointment with the IEC's actions characterizing them as an intrusion into political affairs and departure from the Commission's mandate to oversee electoral process impartially. They are questioned the motives behind the IEC's insistence on challenging Zuma's candidacy and called for transparency in the Commission's decision-making process. In response to the Electoral Court's ruling, Zuma himself addressed supporters in Johannesburg, alleging that the IEC was targeting him unfairly. Zuma's prominent position on the MK Party's list of candidates for parliament further underscores the significance of legal battles surrounding his eligibility to stand for office. As legal proceedings unfold, the controversy surrounding Zuma's candidacy underscores broader concerns about the independence and impartiality of electoral institutions in South Africa. The outcome of the IEC's appeal to the Constitutional Court will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications for the upcoming elections and the credibility of the electoral process.